Based on statistics from the NCAA, only 1% of high school athletes will play Division I college basketball, and only 21% of all college players will play professionally anywhere, much less the NBA. Jacob Gilliard is beating all of those odds and doing it less than six feet tall. <laughs> Being the shortest player on the floor is nothing new for Grizzlies guard Jacob Gilliard. I mean, it's, it's just kind of been my whole life. You know I mean, trying to prove people wrong. Um, I've been undersized since I was a kid playing basketball. Number zero is in his second year of professional basketball, facing opponents that can dwarf the average sized man. Jacob Gilliard is one of the shortest players in the NBA this season, just five foot eight inches tall. That's about as tall as me. The average height in the league, six foot six, one inch taller than Grizzlies guard Desmond Bain. But Gilliard can find himself guarding players even taller, like Victor Wimbenyama, a whopping seven foot four inches tall, the tallest in the NBA. Ask his dad, Rodney. Gilliard's short stature was everybody else's problem, not his. It never really bothered him, and we wanted to make sure that we never, you know, it was never a crutch to say, you know, you're smaller, so this, you're smaller, so that. Just, just play the game you love to play. Gilliard grew up in Kansas City, Missouri. After a stellar high school career, he signed with the University of Richmond under head coach Chris Mooney. Off the dribble. Good by Gilliard. His, his height never, never was a negative. It was, it was always a positive. But when most players tower over you in every game, how do you excel? He, he always could anticipate something that was going to be trouble a trap or an area of the floor where it would be difficult for him. And he never, ever put himself in that position, never. Not to mention he was an excellent defender. How about that sequence? Yeah. That's After five years at Richmond, Gilliard left with an A-10 conference championship, over 2,000 points, and Richmond's all-time leader in assists, steals, and three-pointers. He's the NCAA's leader in career steals with 466, 81 more than second place. But the NBA proved more difficult. Gilliard went undrafted and bounced around G League teams in his first year for the Warriors and Timberwolves before finally landing in Memphis. The basketball part of our league was, was the challenge was just the middle part of it. I think he just, you know, wanted to just try to make sure he was ready for the opportunity and uh, make the most of it, but just not knowing what the opportunity was going to look like. He spent a year with the Memphis Hustle, led the league in assists, and played the final game of the regular season for the Grizzlies. He earned a two-way contract for the 2023 season. Every day I'm just telling him, just stay ready. You know, whether it's, you know, two minutes, no minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. And like I said, it's hard to, easy to say, but hard to do. Enter 2023, thanks to injuries and suspensions to the roster, a bigger opportunity presented itself. Gilliard got his first start November 10th against the Utah Jazz, with Dad in the stands. <laughs> happened for him was just it was a very emotional time I mean definitely proud moment as a parent um, and for our family it's hard to put into words you know I mean a couple weeks ago I wasn't really playing in games and now I'm starting um, but I mean it's kind of what you want as a competitor as a basketball player you know I mean you want to be in the games you want to be starting you want to be playing as much as you can Gilliard scored 14 points and had eight assists in the game he since started several more games for the Grizzlies and even when he doesn't play he's always ready like everything in this world, it's, it's all about timing and opportunity. And I'm just trying to capitalize on it as far as my playing. Um, but I'm trying to help us win games. I mean, at the end of the day, all 18 of us are here to help win the Grizzlies games. In Memphis, with another clutch steal. I'm Avery Braxton.